What's up you guys? Welcome back. Today I'm super excited because we're going to be testing out a brand new beauty brand. You guys actually brought this makeup line to my attention. This is a new line called Believe Beauty, which is exclusive to Dollar General. But a lot of you guys messaged me and were like, please let us know about the new Dollar General brand. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. You guys know if you watch my channel, I've done full face of Dollar General makeup, full face of Dollar Tree makeup. I like to consider myself a dollar store queen. Like low key, like I really do love the dollar store. And Dollar general honestly it's not a dollar store it's like a discount store so with this new brand believe beauty everything is like three to five dollars so it's like wet and wild type prices but strangely enough in the past I've had better experiences with Dollar Tree makeup than Dollar General which is interesting because Dollar Tree is cheaper because everything at Dollar Tree is actually a dollar but I have really high hopes this brand actually looks really nice like the packaging and stuff like the presentation of the products looks very very nice it doesn't seem like cheapy like this is the foundation like it looks actually promising so I'm really really excited it literally just launched a Dollar General and I I'm excited to see if it's any good today and test it out um, to let you guys know if it's worth it or not. Make sure you guys are following me on Instagram if you are not already. It's at Kelly Strack Official. It'll be somewhere on the screen here. I just did my April giveaway and picked a winner for that, but I have another one coming for May. So make sure to follow me there and also be sure to subscribe to my channel if you have not already and click the little bell right next to the subscribe button so you can be notified of all of my future uploads. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the only two things that I don't have is a primer and a concealer. I have literally everything else. So I did already prime my skin. I use a L'Oreal primer. For concealer, I just grabbed this little e.l.f. concealer because I figured I would use something that was also affordable. The e.l.f. concealer is $5. So it's like same price range as the rest of the products. But those are the only two things I don't have. Um, so we're going to go straight in with foundation. This is the Believe Beauty Skin Finish Foundation. It says medium to full coverage. And I have shade Warm Vanilla. So we are gonna go in oh she's cute this is actually nice and this is five dollars um nice pump I like that I like it I like it I'm gonna just pump some out on my finger and then onto my face that was about two and a half pumps so we'll blend that out and see if we need any more okay it's blending out pretty good actually this color actually seems to match pretty well to my neck which is good as well it feels very hydrating like upon application like it doesn't feel drying or anything to the skin which I like it doesn't really say what the finish is supposed to be well I mean it's a skin finish so I guess it is supposed to be more of like a natural finish I would that's how I would kind of take that since it's called the skin finish foundation all right so I'm just looking at it with an up close mirror and honestly this looks really nice like it looks nice on my skin. It's better than I expected it to be. Blends it out super easily. It gives you a medium coverage, I would say, with two and a half pumps. I guess you could build it up, use a little bit more. Maybe we'll see. I'll just add a little bit more and see if it will build up to more fuller coverage. Um, but I would say with two and a half pumps, it's medium. It is drying down, I find, to be a little darker. Like I think it looks a little darker on my skin now than it did when I was first blending it out. Um, so just something to be aware of. Maybe try and go like a shade lighter if possible. Yeah, that added a little more coverage. So I guess you could build it up to full, but you would need quite a bit of product to be able to do that. Um, but I don't know. I don't have any complaints actually. Like I think it looks nice. Blends it out easy. It feels nice on my skin. Obviously we'll have to see how it lasts throughout the day. I will update the description box with that. So check down below. Um, if you're interested in seeing how it lasted on my skin throughout the day because, you know, first impression and application is only one side of the story. <laughs> but so far, so good. All right, so like I said, gonna just jump in with this e.l.f. concealer super quick and just get this concealer situation out of the way so we can move on to testing the other products. You guys know, I love this, $5. It's amazing. All right, concealer is done. Up next, we have powder. They have this translucent powder. This is just the Believe Beauty Matte Blur Loose Powder. I'm not a big translucent powder person for all over the face, but I'm gonna test it for the video and see if I can open it up. All right, so I'm just gonna tap some of this into the cap and then we'll just put it all over the face and see how she works. It definitely has like a yellowish tint to it, which is like interesting. Maybe it'll be like brightening to the face, you know? All right, let's hope this isn't chalky. It's like going everywhere. Does it have a scent to it? I feel like it kind of smells, but not in a bad way. Mm, just like a light little scent I feel like it does have. That actually was nice. It actually, I feel like it brightened my skin a bit, which I like. I'm like liking this, these products, I feel like more than I <laughs> thought that I would. Like they actually are very, very nice. It doesn't feel drying or tightening on the skin too, which so many translucent powders can, which is why I don't ever really use them. All right, so no complaints at all with that. I don't think it made my skin look chalky either. Like I feel like it just set it, it definitely gave it a matte um, look to it for sure. So like 
we got rid of kind of that dewy natural finish of the foundation but I think it looks I think it looks pretty good all right believe beauty okay so up next I have this little brow pencil I have it in the shade light brown it has a little spoolie on one side and then brow pencil that does not look like light brown oh my god that looks so dark let me put some on my hand mmm well, okay, I guess it is. We'll see <laughs> how it looks on my brows. Let me zoom you guys in a little bit because I feel like I feel like you're far. All right, now you guys can see what we're doing, what's going on. So I'm gonna spoolie my brows a bit. Ever since I started to dye my brows, I feel like they're a lot easier to do because I can like see them more. It has honestly been a game changer. If you have blonde brows, you should really think about tinting your brows. Okay, this seems pretty dark for light brown because I normally use light brown brow pencils. This seems more like a classic brown to me. And it definitely has a lot of wax in it. Like I don't know if you guys can see on camera but I can see in person. And a lot of brow pencils have that but I tend to like ones that have less waxy mist to them. Some people like wax though because it helps to keep your their brow hairs in place. But I feel like it makes your eyebrows kind of look fake. Mmm. Okay. <laughs> Not a fan of the brow pencil. Um, yeah, this is not my jam. They did have a brow powder, like little kit. Maybe that would have been better. But I'm more of a brow pencil gal. Um, but this one I'm not. I'm not crazy about this. It has pigment for sure, but it's just a little too waxy for my my liking. And I feel like it just makes my eyebrows look like a block, like I did them with like a Sharpie or something. Gonna do it on the other side as well, obviously, to finish it out. But I don't know that I would recommend this. All right, now moving on to the eyes, I actually have two brushes. I have an all-over eyeshadow brush and a blending eyeshadow brush. These actually look pretty nice. And then I have this palette right here. Um, this is the Nearly Nude palette. I will open it to show you guys. These are what the shades look like. They look super pretty, so hopefully they blend out well. All right, brushes feel a little stiff, but pretty decent, actually. Like, not rough or anything, so probably just with more blending and stuff, it'll get less stiff. So I'm going to go in with the more fluffier one. And I'm going to mix a little bit of these two together. There's not like really an in-between um, neutral shade. So I'm just going to do a little mixer and pop that into my crease. First impression brush feels really nice actually. And the shadow looks pretty good. And I only really use a little bit of that deeper shadow. I use mostly the lighter shadow just so I didn't want it to be too dark in the crease um so it's getting a lot of pigment for only a little bit of shadow but we will build up the pigment with just that dark shade in a moment but i wanted to kind of build this up first so it's more gradient the brush feels really really nice though like definitely like this brush all right now i'm going to go in with the other brush that's a bit flatter and i'm going to really pack that deeper shade pack it kind of right here in the outer oh yeah you can see it is really pigmented on its own kind of deep in that outer area of my eye. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side, just keeping this right in like the outer half of the eye because I want to go with the shimmer in the inner half. This brush is good too for packing on color. And then I'm just gonna go back in with that fluffy brush and blend any harsh lines. I don't have any additional product or anything on it. Down on my lower lash line I'm gonna go in with that deeper shade but a bit of this like orangey shimmer as well and mix that on my lower lash line. Or you know what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna do the deeper shade first on the outer part and then I'll go in with the orangey on the inner part. We'll do a little half and half action down there as well. So bringing that deeper color about halfway. And then I'm just gonna jump in with like a different clean brush and use that orangey shade on the inner part. All over the lid, I'm going to pop on this shade right here. I'm going in with a completely dry brush so we can see how it applies. It applies pretty well. I might go over this shade with a little bit of the orange, just so we have that color carried up here as well. Yeah, so I'm just going to pack on a bit of that orangey shade right on top. Ooh, that looks pretty. I like it. And then I'm just going to focus the orange right on the inner corner. So we have that little like pop of color in there. And then to highlight beneath my brow bone, I'm just gonna go in with this lightest shimmer shade and just highlight right beneath my weird kind of crusty brows. 
Alright, so honestly, really impressed with the palette. This was $5, I think, for six shadows and how well they performed. It's definitely worth it. And I also really, really liked the brushes. I think the brushes were great, both of them, for obviously for different reasons. This one I like for blending. This one was really good at packing color and then on the lower lash line. So these two brushes I was really impressed with as well. So, so far, the only thing I'm not vibing with is the eyebrow pencil. They do have a liquid liner, so I'm going to go in with that. This is the Believe Beauty Liquid Liner in Midnight Jaguar. Kind of a thick little tip there, but... We'll see how it goes. It almost comes off a little gray, which maybe, I don't know, is the shade Midnight Jaguar. It doesn't necessarily supposed to say that it's supposed to be black, so maybe it's not. Um, I would love to see it be like a little more black, but definitely kind of hard to make a wing with this because it's not super flexible, so it's not very easy to really wing it out. If you're just looking to do a straight line though, it's probably fine. But yeah, I don't know, this is not my favorite liquid liner. All right, so that's probably as good as the wings are gonna get. Not crazy about the liner. It's just a little difficult to use because it is so stiff. Um, so I don't know, not crazy about that. I do have an eyeliner for the waterline. Um, this is in the shade Enchanted. This is the long lasting eyeliner. So hopefully it lasts long in the waterline. I'm gonna go in and pop that right in there. This one was not bad, it was pretty pigmented. I'm okay with it. This line has lashes as well. So these are the Believe Beauty Glamorous Finish False Lashes. False Lashes. False Lashes. Um, these actually contain glue too. So they actually come with lash glue, which is pretty nice. I am not gonna use the lash glue though that's contained in here because I'm allergic to latex. So I always have to use latex free glue. Um, but they do give you some glue in the back here, which is pretty nice because a lot of brands don't do that anymore. So this is what they look like. It's actually interesting. They have one that says left and one that says right. Like it's telling you like which eye to put them on, which I don't think I've ever seen that before. They had a couple different pairs, but these ones were like the most dramatic. So of course I have to use those. All right, I didn't trim the lash at all because it looked like it was gonna fit. Now I'm like, maybe this is too long. So let's, let's see if she will fit. My eyes are like kind of, kind of big. I think it actually will be okay. I probably should have trimmed it like a little bit, but this will, this will work. All right, so I actually like these lashes. Like, I think they look pretty. They're not, like, as dramatic as the lashes that I normally wear, but, I mean, they're still pretty, and they feel really light on my eyes, so I like that. I do have a mascara. This is the High Drama Fiber Mascara. So this just says False Lash Effect. I already have falsies on, but we're going to use this, um, and obviously we use it on our lower lash line, too, so we'll be able to see how it works on there. So this is supposed to be a fiber mascara, too, so it's supposed to have, like, little fibers in it. So I'm going to just go into my lower lashes first. I like how the wand is actually pretty small. It makes it a lot easier on your lower lashes to really get in there. This is actually pretty nice. Like, it's not, like, amazing or, like, earth-shattering or anything, but, I mean, I think my lower lashes look pretty good. Alrighty, so eyes are done. I'm going to zoom you guys out just a little bit, and then we're going to finish on the face. Alright, so for the face, they have, like, a little duo where you get, like, a little bronzer, a blush, and a highlight, but then you can also buy everything, like, separately as well. So, like, a bigger bronzer, a bigger blush, and a bigger highlight. So, you have both options. For today, I'll probably just use the bigger separate ones, but you can buy the little compact, like, contour blush highlight sort of kit. So the bronzer that I have is in the shade Tahitian Sun. This looks like it has a lot of shimmer to it, so we're gonna see what it looks like. I do have a foundation brush too, which I didn't use to blend out the foundation because I always use sponges, um, but maybe I'll use that for the, the bronzer. So this is the foundation brush. I'm gonna just swirl it. Ooh, oh my God, that's a lot of powder. A lot of powder kickback came out of that, so I'm gonna tap that off a bit. This brush might be too like heavy to really do bronzer. Yeah, so I'm gonna just go in with the Moda powder brush. That would probably be a good foundation though brush, you know what I mean? Like it's too densely packed. Oh, this is actually nice. I was a little nervous because it looked like it had a lot of shimmer in it, like in the pan. And even though we got a lot of powder kickback, I feel like it looks nice on the skin, so. And I believe they have a couple different shades of bronzer, so they do have some options. Okay, this blush looks so, so pretty. I love this. This is in the shade Rosy Glow. So let's pop her on. There is a lot of shimmer in this too, but I don't know, it looks really pretty to me. Ooh, I like it. There is a lot of shimmer in it, so it's gonna give a sheen to your face, but I think it looks really pretty actually. This reminds me of, there's a blush from Milani that I like that's kind of like this, and that's what it reminds me of. I actually like this a lot though. I'm gonna jump in actually to the contour palette. It doesn't say shade names, but this bronzer in here has a lot less um, shimmer than the one that we used all over the face. So I'm gonna use that to contour because it looks pretty matte. This also had a lot of kickback. Like a lot of these shades have a lot of kickback, like powder kickback to them, but they apply fine. It's just kind of weird. Like when you put your brush in there, you're gonna get a decent amount of like excess, but application 
is pretty good. All right, now I have high hopes for the highlight. I really hope this comes out good. This is the shade Champagne Kiss. This is like gonna be the moment of truth. Let's see how she works. <gasps> Stop. Oh my God. That is stunning. What? Oh my God, I love this. Yay, I'm so happy. I knew I was gonna like the highlight. Oh, this is so pretty. Wow. This is stunning. Blinding highlight, so pretty. Wow. And I'm pretty sure the highlights are $4.50 or $5. So like, how stinking beautiful. Wow, okay. This is stunning. I really, really like the highlight. That's beautiful. Okay, for lips, I'm gonna do a little bit of a bold lip today. I have a lip liner. This is a long lasting lip liner in intense rouge. I'm gonna line my lips with this. It's been a minute since I've done like a red lip. Lip liner worked pretty well, pretty pigmented. And then for our lipstick, I have this Believe Beauty Velvet Matte Liquid Lipstick. This is in the shade Cherry on Top. I think this is gonna be more red than the lip liner was. The lip liner almost has like a pinky undertone, but hopefully we'll be able to make it work. Ooh, this is pretty. Very pigmented. This is so, so pretty. I love this. It's matte, but it's not like super drying on the lips or anything. It was very, very pigmented, so I can't complain about it at all. I'm honestly very impressed with this line. I do wanna double check the foundation. It seems to be holding up pretty well. I've been filming for about an hour now. So it hasn't only been on my skin for an hour, so like I said, I'll definitely update you guys on that down below in the description box. But overall, I'm really, really impressed with this line. It is way better than anything else that I have tried from Dollar General um, in the past. The only things I didn't really like is I didn't like the eyebrow pencil and I didn't like the liner, the like liquid liner. But for the most part, everything else I thought was really, really good. The highlight was booming, so I, I don't know. I'm really excited. I want to try more from this brand because so far our first impression is I really like their products and it's actually really great for the price. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down below if you're going to check out anything from Believe Beauty. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye!